Good morning, my garden friends. Does it look like we're going to have a, a shrimp dinner tonight? Well, I hope so. But I did want to show you something. Uh, Rick and I love shrimp. So, um, and we like to make our own. So we buy it still in the shell. And we go ahead and we take those and take the shell off first. And then we cook our shells in um, water and orange peel and uh, celery seed, basil, oregano, a bay leaf, and we have that nice water uh, to cook the shells first, get all that good flavor out, strain it, and then we go ahead and we cook our shrimp. So what do you think we do with those shells? Do you think we throw those away? Well, we used to. And I started doing some research. Well, actually, before I did research, I thought, I bet I could use those in my garden because, you know, I mean, they are crustaceans and they do have calcium. And gee, wouldn't they be good for your soil? So uh, I've done it a couple times and I wanted to show you what it looks like. And it looks just like this. This is just, the, it, it comes out to a nice powder. What I do, is I go ahead and I take the shells that have been boiled uh, and I go ahead and I bake them for, oh, uh, well, the next time I'm making something in the oven, uh, usually about 400 degrees, 425, I'll put them in for about 30 minutes and they bake, they're nice and, nice and crispy. So then I take those and I put them in a, uh, in an actual, actually in a coffee grinder. If I put it in a food grinder, they come out a little bit too big. But if I put them in the coffee grinder, they look like this. They look like they're crystallized, don't they? Almost like a powder. Let us see. Almost like a powder. Yeah, there you go. So, um, when I have plants that I think would benefit from a little calcium for, for their uh, the health of the plant, then I just go ahead and I take it and I'm going to spill this, I'm sure, but I just go ahead and sprinkle it on the top and it makes for a nice slow release fertilizer. So then I did a little bit of research and I want to read this to you while you're just looking at this. And it says that shrimp shells are useful in, you can put them in your compost bin if that's what you'd like to do. And they feed the bacteria and fungi, which in turn helps them to break down. Uh, they can be either put in there cooked, or you can put the shells in raw. But personally, I think you're, you put these shells in raw and any raccoon worth his salt is gonna come find them. So uh, I prefer to go ahead and bake them and then uh, grind them. That way I can spread them all about and makes me, it, it makes me happy. So what happens is uh, they have a slow release nitrogen. Um, they say it, it's C-H-I-T-I-N and it's pronounced chitin. And um, that helps with keeping um, killing the nemato eggs. So uh, I'm afraid I'm not a scientist. Um, well, I'm not afraid that I'm not a scientist, but I'm not a scientist. And so I like to keep things pretty simple. If it works, I don't have to know all the whys. I just know I do. So, uh, but it also contains calcium carbonate, uh, which is key for your, for the life of your garden. And uh, calcium does help raise the pH uh, levels in your garden if that's what you need. Um, here in Florida, uh, we're, you know, Florida is pretty much that state that hangs out, you know, down, down at the end of the map, you know, we're hanging out there. And what is it? But it's a lot of calcium, you know, that's the way, uh, We've got an ocean on both sides. Oh, well, an ocean on one side and a gulf on the other. And so uh, we're pretty we're pretty rich in it. But, you know, when you get plants and you're buying all your soil, um, 
you can always add a little something to it. And these were just three little broken off pieces from my neighbor's plant that she was throwing away. I brought them home and stuck them in water for a couple days and then I saw roots forming so I stuck them in soil and they've, they've come back pretty well. They look just about as pretty as her plant that she bought right from Lowe's. So uh, anyway, garden what you've got. If you're a shrimp lover like we are, then don't throw those shells away. Add to your soil, make something out of it. So that's your garden tip for the day. Thanks for visiting. I enjoyed our time together. See you guys real soon. Bye-bye.